This is Roger with Crosscut in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It is a 2006 Ford F-250 regular cab, long bed. Um, it's an XL trim package with a 6.0 turbo diesel and it's two wheel drive. Um, it was a trade in to San Diego Sports Cars. We purchased from them. Obviously, the name tells you what they sell, so <laughs> this is about as far from a sports car as you're gonna get. So we bought it from them, knowing it had a very leaky valve cover gaskets. Uh, both of them were very leaky, and the oil cooler was leaking. Uh, so this is what we do. Uh, we know six O's and very easy solution. So we sent it to our shop, had uh, a bulletproof EGR cooler installed. While you're doing the, EG, the uh, EGR cooler, you should do the, uh, the uh, oil cooler and the EGR cooler together while you're there. Saves time and labor. So we did the bulletproof EGR cooler, we did the Ford oil cooler, new valve cover gaskets, serpentine belt and tensioner, was that a squeaky belt? Um, new oil and filter and coolant, obviously, and uh, a detail. Runs and drives great. Um, at some point, it looks like you could probably use some front tires. I don't think the back tires are too bad, but on trucks like this, they're very cheap. I mean, they're probably 265 17s, I believe, on this truck. Um, you know, you could buy a whole set for 500 bucks at discount tire, a nice set. So, but uh, for now, these are all right, I think. Uh, my job in these videos is to not, uh, is to not puff the goods. Um, it's to tell you what we know about it and uh, that's it if there's uh, something wrong we will tell you about it if there's something um, that you need to know about we will tell you okay um, we have many many buyers uh, many uh, repeat buyers and uh, they know that if there's something wrong we will tell them now obviously cousin there's a couple, little ding right here on the hood and right over there obviously this is a work truck so i'm not going to dwell too much on cosmetics i doubt that anyone there's one here too um anyone's going to care i will tell you that all the diesel trucks especially the diesel trucks i bring inside and i pressure spray them off um especially uh when they go for bulletproof um because there's always a lot of excess oil hopefully i got it all um but I do the undercarriage, I do the motor, um, everything gets done, goes up in the air, we stare at it, we leave it up in the air for a, for a day to make sure we don't have any excessive dripping. Um, they are diesel trucks, they pretty much drip the day they're born, but um, this one is fantastic. Um, really nice truck, really kind of boring truck, but if you're looking for a nice work truck, a long bed work truck, and you need a little bit of diesel power, you know, pull a boat, something like that. This would be a great lake boat, uh, lake trailer uh, boat uh, truck, you know, like a 20 foot uh, Ranger bass boat, something like that. Hook it up to that. You don't have all that length from the extra cab or the crew cab. Uh, work trailer, stuff like that. And you don't have to worry about the GR, that's already handled. All right, there's your locks. Boom. Basic and old school, right? All right, let's see. 99,900 miles are on it. Let me fire it up here. Get that. All right. There's all your gauges going there, right? All right, let's go over some paperwork. All this stuff will be scanned into the uh, into the uh, um, ad for this vehicle, so you can see it all there. Anyway, there's your VIN. Um, this is what Monsoon did to the truck. Uh, engine oil cooler, valve cover gasket, serpentine belt, dry belt tensioner, idler assembly. And that cost $1,906. $71. It actually costs more than that because that doesn't include the price of I buy the oil cooler at Home Subtle Ford here and the EGR cooler from uh, Bulletproof. That's about 800 bucks. So it's really about 2700. But as far as uh, their receipts, it's 19. So there's your valve cover ga gasket receipt from them. 
there's your coolant receipt tensioner and uh, serpentine belt all right then we've got uh, here's some more information Kelly Blue Book on this truck with 99,888 miles two-wheel drive automatic um, XL long bed uh, from a dealer a typical listing price would be 15439 with a range of 13,000 to 15,000 that is without including the fact that it's been it has the bulletproof EGR cooler and the Ford oil cooler that would make it worth quite a bit more money in my opinion um, anyway, here's your uh, Carfax, there's your VIN, uh, rear wheel drive, long bed, uh, 99,000 miles. Basically, Kelly and Carfax get to get together. They blend the uh, history of the vehicle with the Kelly, and they come up with a value of $15,460. Uh, it's a one owner. There's your VIN here. No accidents, one owner. Let's see, no major title problems, which is obviously important it's a low mile vehicle um, looks like it lived its life in uh, Nevada and then probably it looks like uh, the person who owned this saw something he liked in San Diego and this is where it went to monsoon and they did all that work they can't list it all I've asked them to list everything but they were not a room when they're doing that stuff so anyway that's when they had it all right nothing going on there the latch on this is broken by the way but I decided not to like permanently shut it because you might want to put something in there or whatever so I'll leave it there all right all right let's see first we're looking for Ford stamps Ford stamp here so that's the original fender Ford stamp here on the core support the uh, yep, the catalytic converter stickers. Ford stamp there should be another one right here, and there is not. So this fender, at some point, oh wait, no, yeah, there is, it's right there. I missed it. There is a Ford stamp, right? Right there. I thought at first I couldn't see it, and when you don't see it, they've been replaced. But it's there, and there should be another one on the hood, right there. And there is. All right. There's your uh, blow-by, very, very little. That's excellent. Like I said, I pressure sprayed the crap out of this motor. So it looks beautiful underneath and on top. It's ready to go. So work trucks you're gonna get some people sitting in here that aren't so clean so the seats are as good as they're gonna get it's actually a pretty clean truck for a work truck and it's a very low mile truck for a work truck all right let's hop in here at some point it had some sort of a light package I left that on there if somebody wants to trace it and figure out what to do with it might be some value in having that still. Get my seatbelt on here. All right. Doing the one-handed seatbelt thing here. All right, I am in radio. Let's go to FM, make sure that works. Radio works. Let's see. Air conditioning. Had this on a little while ago. It's actually kind of warm today. Well, not warm. I shouldn't say warm, but it's about 80. That's definitely air conditioning. I had the heater on a couple days ago when it was cold. I know the heater works fine, so let's turn that down so you can hear me. This thing does have, there's your tow haul on and off. That's me doing that, right? It does have cruise control and it does have tilt, okay? windshield wipers These are, that's the lights going on and off right here right and I'll turn the lights back off tilt this wheel down a little bit go for a ride all right let me go first of all we'll do a little drive first we'll throw in reverse nice truck really nice truck and reverse 
so you know we got to reverse here, right? All right, all right. Okay, if you come to Tucson to drive this truck home, you'll pay the following. You'll pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee. If you pay by wire and ship this truck out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. There'll be no tax, no dock fee, nothing uh, but the price. Once we receive full payment by wire, we'll fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will scan it in your online file, we'll sign it off to you scan it in your online file so you'll be able to see it immediately online and then we'll mail it to you. We haven't scanned in the envelope, we mail it in. Um, you will have the truck shipped to you, the title will already be in your mailbox before the shipper shows up with your truck. You'll take the truck and the title down to motor vehicles in your city and uh, get plates. It's very simple, okay? Um, if you need help with shipping, please let me know early in the transaction. I'd be happy to help you. I can do it for you. We can roll the price of the shipping into the price of the vehicle so you just pay once. Um, if you're uh, comfortable shipping yourself, go, go for it. If you need some phone numbers, ask us. We can give you some phone numbers. You can do it yourself. Um, we just want you to have your truck as soon as possible, okay? Um, what else? Um, blah, 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 blah. Um, la, 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 la. Deposit. Deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we have a deal. Until then, it will stay for sale. Please make sure you get your deposit in, okay? Once we have that deposit, it will no longer be for sale. So make sure that happens, right? Um, what else? At the end of every video, I say the same thing. Now oh, this thing runs great. I say the same thing and I always will. We don't have salesmen, we don't have bottled water with our name on it, we don't have uh, a fancy location uh, to pay for. That saves you money. It makes it so that we can sell you this truck cheaper than anyone else, okay? Um, so, uh, basically, what we're telling you is the money you're saving on the price of the truck uh, is a lot. It's significant, okay? At the new car dealership, when you buy this vehicle for them, you pay a lot of money, and when it breaks, you bring it in and say, I just paid a fortune for this truck. Please fix it. Well, they're fine with that because they also add five to seven hundred dollars every time they sell you a vehicle for future repairs so that when you do walk in irritated <laughs> because you pay eighteen thousand for this truck um they're fine fixing it because they've uh, already charged you for the future repairs we don't charge you for that either we don't charge you for our location we don't charge you for you know uh the lattes and the sandwiches and the salesman's commissions and all that crap you can fix your truck with your money Okay, that's how we roll. Okay, um, if that doesn't work for you, uh, let us know uh, by not uh, buying from us. All right, we are not writing checks for you for repairing anything. Okay, things happen. Every one of these trucks is going to break. Um, this thing runs great. Lately, we've been on a run of uh, injectors. Now, because it's a Ford truck, injectors and Ford trucks, you only have to do one. You don't have to do them all like you do in a Duramax, or you should do them all if you're doing a Cummins also. But in a 6.0, you can just do one, all right? And they're not that hard to do. So, you know, that's to me is the only thing that can go wrong now. It's an injector gets stuck, but uh, right now it's fine, you know? But like I said, we're not writing checks for future repairs. Whatever um, happens from the day you own it you're responsible for it. you will be dealing with your truck and the money you save buying it this way will be spent on your truck and its repairs period okay if that doesn't work for you we really don't have anything to talk about okay um i think that's about it god this is what happens when vehicles get really overpriced we made the mistake in april of selling 40 vehicles in one week at the auction because the prices were really high then we thought they were high then <laughs> we sold them and now we could never get our our our, our inventory up again because their vehicles are just way too expensive just way 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 too expensive so uh these trucks won't be along around long that, that i can tell you so anyway i think that's enough uh, rambling a very nice truck runs great so, thank you for your time.